Hey everybody, this is Alex from Arceus Creative and today I wanted to give you all an overview of the Lumetri color panel you can find in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Now a few updates ago, Adobe decided to actually step away from SpeedGrade and start integrating a lot of those same tools directly into Premiere, resulting in a pretty powerful panel you can use to color grade without actually leaving your current project. For starters, just in case you don't already have it in place in one of your working windows, to open Lumetri you can come up here to the Window tab, click on the Lumetri color, and that will open up the color panel where we can dock it in any working window we desire. Starting out the top with basic correction, just like it sounds, is for adjusting basics or the foundations of the clips that we have. In here we can add a LUT by selecting one of Adobe's presets or even by adding one of our own in this browse section here. We can augment the white balance of our clips and adjust the tone of our clips all by sliding these little dials back and forth and we can even adjust the saturation if we want to as well. Now one of the great things about the Lumetri panel that we can see right off the bat is the fact that even as you go deeper into the panel it doesn't overwhelm you with anything too complicated. You can add more or less to each value by simply sliding a bar back and forth or just using a drop down menu or easy tools that you can find in every section. Underneath basic correction the creative tab we can really get a bit more creative by adding different preset looks over our footage. Again we can use the drop down menu to select an Adobe look or upload one of our own and one of my favorite things about this tab is that below the drop down menu, Adobe has incorporated this preview window where we can actually cycle through different looks so I don't have to guess and check the drop down and then drop down again and then drop down again just to get that look that I want. Below that we again have our easy to use adjustment bars that allow us to make some more fine tuning adjustments to the tint, sharpness, vibrance, saturation, and even adjustments in the balance using a couple useful color wheels. Opening up our Curves tab, Adobe gives us two curves we can play with. The first being our standard RGB curve where we can adjust the white, black, red, green, and blue values by creating nodes and augmenting the curve. And under that there is a saturation hue curve that allows us to change the saturation of specific colors on the color wheel by again creating nodes and augmenting the curve of the graph. Just like in the tab above it, the Color Wheels tab is a simple tab that contains three wheels for the shadows, midtones, and highlights. Each wheel has a bar to the left to adjust the brightness level, up for brighter, down for darker, and then a wheel where we can pull the anchor and balance the color in each area depending on what our clip needs. In our HLS Secondary tab, or Hue, Luminance, and Saturation, Adobe really gives us the tools to dig in and make adjustments to specific colors using the dropper tools. We can refine the spots by adding a denoiser or blur, and also correct using some of the same tools as before. There are two separate color wheels for precise adjustments as well as being able to adjust temperature, tint, contrast, sharpen, and saturation values for our selected color or even colors. Finally in our last tab, the Vignette tab allows us to create either a white or black vignette and adjust the midpoint, roundness, and feather of the vignettes, again all by sliding bars back and forth. As you can see there's tons of tools here for your disposal and you can really approach color grading in a multitude of different ways. Now I can tell you that this isn't going to be as powerful as DaVinci Resolve or give you that level of control or even that level of pure options during your grade, but that's not really what this panel is meant for. The Lumetri panel is a simple and easy to use tool that will definitely let you fine tune your footage a lot more than some of the other third party plugins you can find out there, and to me that's always a plus. Also the fact that each tool moves and functions the same way really allows you to move from one tab to another, and even if you're new to grading, allows you to understand how to make adjustments you want to make and allows you to move in the right direction. Anyway, that's my overview of Adobe's Lumetri color panel, and as always, please subscribe and comment below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, and keep on grading.